So now we've reordered the lenses into family groups. So as you can see, we've got bronze base lenses, purple base lenses, pink base, orange base, and then high contrast. It's useful to maybe mix and match, or if you particularly have an affinity to a certain family, you can stick within that family. So there's no real rules. I don't generally tend to like the pre-made kits. I think it's quite nice to mix and match so you can find the, the lens selection that suits you best. So we are gonna have some examples on the screen of what the lenses do for orange targets against green backgrounds in the same sort of light condition. So you can then see yourself in a, in a real world environment what effect the different lenses have. So if we have a little look at the darkest lens pillar makes, which is the 9.5, this only lets 9.5% of the light in, so it's really, really dark. For full sun, it can be useful to have that in your bag for those sorts of targets that are in direct sun. We've also got the 10, and then we've got the 18. So, as the nomenclature suggests, the one is 8% paler than the other. You've then got paler lenses still, so we've got the 26 here. And we've got a 38 there. So the bronze based lenses are quite natural. They don't create too much color distortion and they're generally quite relaxing, feel nice and comfortable and, and, and normal and natural on the eye. The purple lenses, the darkest lens in the purple series at the moment is the 19 CIN. In the same sort of family at the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got the brand new 68. So you've got a lens that lets 19% of the light through and a lens that lets 68% of the light through. As we've said, lenses in the purple category should help to promote an orange target against a green background by killing that green background off, should be neutralizing it. I've tended to find that people with some forms of red-green color deficiency don't get on with the purples at all. So as we said, it's worth trying before you buy. We have done another video on the specific red-green color deficiency lenses, which is the RG uh, HL and the RG LL. Those at the moment are only available in the Outlaw X6 platform because of the shape, whereas all of these new eye iterations are available in the Outlaw X7 as well. Some of my favorite lenses, one of the most popular that we've done is that 60 watermelon. So that's a really nice pink to rose base lens, which is high contrast, high transmission, and it's been really popular with trap shooters. We've got the 84 grapefruit, which again follows a similar sort of color profile with a little bit more purple in it, but again, it's a really high transmission lens. Going towards the other end, we've got the 98, which is pretty good for night shooting. And we've got the 92. The 92 has probably been the best low light lens that we've done for a year or two. So this has got a color optimization tint in it. So it really helps to enrich uh, difficult wavelengths and really gives a nice color pop in, in crappy light conditions. 80HC is the yellow format. So this has theoretically been more popular in the past. So yellows, everybody shoots in yellows. Um, I find it a little bit harsh and I generally find that 92 a little bit more comfortable on my eyes. For me, orange lenses are a little bit rich, a little bit too intense, but lots of trap shooters tend to find the orange lenses are really nice and punchy. There has been a bit of a rework of some of the orange lens technology compared to the past. Um, 55 PWC, 55 Peach, that medium orange, that's been super, super popular. Some people find that that's the only lens that they use because it's a really good all round balanced lens for shooting in the UK. 44 is a more deeply saturated version of it. So you've got more red, you've got more orange pigment in. It has a richer enhancing effect on orange targets because it's got more pigment. It's a bit more punchy. And the other side of that is the 64. So this is the 64 version. So if I hold the two above each other, same family, different light transmission. And some people find that if they really get on with that orange series, they may have both of those. So sunny days, lower light, or if you're trap shooting, outside, undercover, that kind of thing. So hopefully that's kind of demystified a little bit of the pillar collection for the uh, new ice collection. And uh, if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comment section below or DM me for uh, any assistance.